everyone! As you know, we're living through a very, very stressful time at the moment. And last week, I was just sad. This week, I'm mad. I mean, for a start, I am filming this on Monday the 25th of May and Dominic Cummings still has a job, as does Boris Johnson. How? I'm also infuriated with a whole collective of people who have been dubbed Covidiots. These are the people who think it's perfectly acceptable to invite all of their friends and family round to hang out at their house because we can't possibly catch it off each other, right? It's fine, let's just have a big gathering! It's also the people who protest against lockdown because lockdown is a contravention of their civil liberties. Listen Karen, I don't care how much you think you need a haircut, I'd like to live long enough to see my nephew born. Covidiots are also the people who are just travelling off to stay in their second homes in spite of the fact that those second homes are quite often in rural communities with only one hospital and they just don't have the infrastructure to cope with a spike of coronavirus cases and you know I say that as someone who lives in one of those communities and whose hospital definitely would not cope. Speaking of the area I live in, Covidiots are also the people who are just flocking to our beaches to sit really close to strangers because you can't catch coronavirus outside ever it's fine we're not gonna cough on each other we're not gonna breathe on each other our kids aren't gonna go and play with some strangers kids because kids never do that it's fine and of course covidiots are the people point blank refusing to wear a mask in public because reasons Sorry, you need to have a mask on to come into the shop. I will never wear a mask. I am a free citizen. Well, you know, it, it's for my protection and also for your protection. I will not bow down to the man by wearing a mask. Look, I'm sorry, but if you won't wear a mask, you can't come in. Fine. <coughs> it's just, why are you there? Could you go into the shop and pick me up a thermometer? Feel a bit clammy? The thing is, they do say you are less likely to catch COVID-19 outside. That doesn't mean that everybody should all clamour to be in close proximity to one another just because you're outside. You can still catch it sitting on beaches. Look at Western Supermare. If you are watching this in America or Canada or somewhere else in the world, Western Supermare is a seaside popular tourist spot. They've only got one hospital and since two weeks ago lockdown restrictions were eased and since two weeks ago we had our VE Day celebrations where people were praising people for just getting together and doing the freaking conga. They've had to shut that hospital because in the last two weeks they've had a surge of coronavirus cases. Do you remember what I said about small communities with only one hospital and they don't have the infrastructure to cope with a spike? This is it! And it's not just the stupidity that gets me, it's the sheer arrogance. Because one of the things that people who are perfectly strong and healthy will tell you is oh god it's just like getting a really bad cold. Only vulnerable people are really at risk only vulnerable people. I mean for a start that's not true. There have been children who are healthy who have died of COVID-19. There are people who are adults who had no underlying conditions who have died of this. So actually I think we're kind of past the point where we can say only vulnerable people should worry. But even if that was true, even if only vulnerable people were at severe risk of getting majorly seriously ill or dying from COVID-19. Why does that make it okay? Seriously, people are talking as though only vulnerable people are at risk, as though that implies that vulnerable people are just all close to death anyway. They have no life. It's fine if they die. 
I'm one of those vulnerable people. I'm 37 years old. I'm starting a business. I've got plenty of things I want to live for. Thank you very much. So instead of being like, ah, it don't matter, it's only the vulnerable, uh, maybe consider that those vulnerable people are people. <laughs> interrupt this YouTube broadcast to bring you some breaking news. People who are listed as vulnerable have released a statement against people who say that coronavirus only affects vulnerable people, so what's the problem? They would like to say, screw you. The other day I actually saw someone on Twitter say, it's only vulnerable people who are actually affected by this, so I just say, keep the vulnerable people indoors for a year, the rest of us can do what we like. I'll just ruin my mental health for you, shall I love? There's a certain attitude from these people that if you're following the rules of lockdown, you're just some kind of sheep who can't even think for themselves. But actually, if you are a person who is following the rules of lockdown, it's because not only can you think for yourself, but you're able to think of others beyond yourself. Because for every covid idiot sat in their garden inviting all their family and friends round for a barbecue, there is a family watching a funeral on a laptop screen. This has been hard for everyone, not just the covid idiots who don't think the rules apply to them anymore, everyone. People have had mental health crises because they've been stuck in a small flat, they haven't seen their friends, they haven't seen their family, they're not even allowed outside for exercise because they're vulnerable. It's been hard for everyone. So following the rules does not make you a mug or a sheep. It makes you a decent human being. <coughs> Actually, seriously, if you could just stop being COVID idiots because this isn't good for my throat. I'm sorry that this is such a ranty video. I don't like making videos that are just me furiously getting irate at the camera. I wanna do something where it's fun and enjoyable and oh. But this isn't one of those situations. My life is genuinely at risk from people who think it's fine to just break the rules. And I'm not okay with that. If you agree with me, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. I would like some support, it would be very nice. You can even click on my floaty head up here if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, which is not just angry rants, I promise. And over here is last week's video, which hopefully proves my point. I will speak to you all next week because I think I need to go and lie down. <laughs> Bye!